and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jeskai Giants. That's right. We're going to be playing Giant Tribal in the Jeskai colors. Hawkeye is just walking around. Um, the reason why we get to, like, the reason why we're playing a Giant Tribal deck and, like, our payoff for playing a Giant Tribal deck is really Realm Cloak Giant. Because, you know, Realm Cloak Giant says destroy all non giant creatures. So that means that we can have some giants in play and still cast a sweeper, but our creatures won't die. So that's a pretty nice bonus. Theros, our latest set, added in two pretty good giants. We have Tectonic Giant. As you all know, this is um, a card that I've been really talking up. I think it's a, a good quality card today. And we also have Thrix, the Sudden Storm, the Flash giant that uh, we can surprise some people with we have our mana open they attack in boom we got this four five f flash flyer so that's pretty cool um so yeah so we're we're gonna be having you know like those added with our realm cloak giant and then we also of course have bone crusher giant like the playable giant from before um so that's kind of our, our creature base we do still have brazen borrowers which those would die to the sweepers but brazen borrowers just also just a really good tempo card um Besides, oh, and then we also have a Kenrith, because, you know, Kenrith's just awesome. And then, you know, we have Teferi's to kind of slow them down. We got Clarion as another sweeper with the Realm Cloak Giant for all the aggressive decks that are running around and all the small creature decks. Uh, we can play some Clarions. A little bit of Counter Magic with some Sabotage, Absorb, Dovin's Veto, and some Selection with Opt. So, yeah, we got a cool little mid-range um, Jeskai deck here. Cyborg has, like, a lot more Counter Magic in it. Uh, that we can bring in for, for different matchups and also other instant speed interaction. Another sweeper, some ways to destroy artifacts and enchantments. Heliod's intervention is pretty awesome. This is just in... I guess all of our decks are white today, so it's probably just going to be in all of our sideboards. And then an uncounterable Chandra against the counterspell decks. All right, well, let's uh, let's see how it does. Um, you know, our mana is just kind of whatever. Uh, we got seven temples that we're going to be working on there. All right, so we're, we're going to just play this deck over in ranked. We're going to play like five matches, traditional standard ranked with Jeskai Giants. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So no, I'm not. I'm not feeling better. I'm feeling worse than yesterday. I didn't feel great yesterday. So that's why. I, we didn't do a 12-hour stream. So those of y'all watched on YouTube, that's why my voice is a little off and everything. I am I'm under the weather, not feeling so great. I don't always play best of three. I usually do best of one. Either we'll do best of one if we have a donation deck for it, or um, Mondays. Usually Mondays we have best of one day Monday. And that's whenever we play that. I have like an... This is one of those, you know, like emergency orange drink things. I just mixed in with some water. And then I have some hot chocolate also. Uh, keep. You might have the flu. Um, I don't think it's like a full on flu. It's just a little cold. Okay. So Temple of Mystery. Hmm. I'll just lead with the Temple of Enlightenment. You know, I could shock in and play Opt. I don't think we really... I, like, Opt is the kind of card that's... It's honestly not as good at turn one as it is... Um, you know, later on in the game. Like, turn seven, turn eight. You know, like, or just, you know, like, later on in the game. Like, whenever you're like, okay, I need whatever card, then Opt for it. Whenever you're just, like, making your opening hand look a little bit better... not as good all right so simic flash yeah james I, I do like the new set yeah i, I think they the new set's been been very enjoyable to play Yeah, the cough. I do have. I do have cough drops. They they have really helped. See, cough drops. They have really helped. 
like yesterday I felt terrible in the morning. Like my throat was really hurting, but then I had some cough drops and I was like, oh, now I feel a lot better. And so I've had like 15 cough drops over the last two days. Um, I'll do this. I don't have like a great I don't have like a great hand of stopping ambusher into Nissa. Yeah, even just stopping am ambusher qu quench. All right, well, I, I just hope they don't have another counter spell. Hey, Sock Monkey. They only got two cards in hand. Um, okay. Well, it's only nine. Now I hope they don't have another counter spell. Even though they just cried to the top. So I can't really imagine what they scried to the top that's not a counter spell. And that wasn't a Nissa that just killed me. And that what and it's not like an ambusher that's just also gonna kill me. They so they can't have a counter spell or an ambusher or a Nissa. They can have that. And lands. Okay, so we got a lot of good stuff here. This is a matchup I, that I think we're pretty prepared for after sideboarding. But I just the hand that I had was not good against Ambusher. Um, and and they had Ambusher in a lot of great ways to back it up. Unfortunately, I think I maybe need to take out Tectonic Giant because it's not instant speed, and this is just a matchup where we have to play instant speed. Um, I mean, the yeah, if I pay the two mana for the Clarion, I mean, the Nightpack Ambusher doesn't die. The Ambusher is still a 4-4, four -four and I'm at one life. So like Realm Cloak Giant and Clarion, I probably don't need, a, you know, three Clarion, three Realm Cloak Giant. Let me go two and two. I don't, even, I don't, I don't even know if I want Clarion to be honest. Clarion's not so bad though. Still need to cut four cards. I guess you're gone. Huh. I'm just gonna cut an opt. I don't really have anything else to cut. Yeah, maybe Bone Crusher Giant. Maybe I'm supposed to cut that instead of Clarion. Maybe. All right, so we do need to find blue mana so we can play Teferi plus Dispute. I 
No, I like Vito a lot. I'm going to shock in here so I can opt, and then I can still play Foundry and Tapped and have Dispute for a Grow Spiral. I guess I could have trimmed Disdainful Stroke, probably. I would rather have Disdainful Stroke than either of those other two cards I just drew. But at least it gets me closer to maybe finding another blue mana source. That's rough. I'm not throwing out the other one. To get countered. That is rough. Man. Crow Spiral is so good. I need to counter this thing. It's just such a good card. I can't really afford to counter it, but I need to. Hawkeye's improving. Yeah, the medicine is, is helping him out. He is improving. He's just had uh, sinus problems for the last like two months, and yeah, I mean that's basically he's had sinus problems. Deck list is not updated. It's not. All right. Trying to fix that. Deckless commands updated now. I'll yeah, Teferi you. should probably get this one for me. We found, like, drawing that Castle Vantress when we did was perfect. That was the, the draw I needed. Together, we will prevail. Hey, he go. <laughs> no, Hawkeye, we're winning this one. You can watch this one. You're supposed to do that whenever we're not winning. Yeah, we're winning. The land 
Jesus shall conquer you. <laughs> yeah, we are we are winning. Like I don't believe you. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think Thrix is really, really strong. So four veto, two disdainful stroke. Play one Clarion, three Giant. Okay, let's try that. Hey, Rochi, and I'm feeling worse than yesterday. But we're hanging in there. Thank you. Them? No. Game three. We're on the draw, which, as y'all know, again, being on the draw is not where you want to be against the McFlash. No, I don't have all the Theros cards, no. We opened the 165 packs. We did that video for YouTube. That was, that was fun, and that's what I basically opened. I've opened some... I've opened a few more packs since then, like, you know, earning gold and also use some wild cards for like what what we need Most fun deck so far. Um, I haven't played too many decks yet, but maybe the probably my favorite was the Selesnia enchantments from yesterday. The teamer ramp, we got to just do some ridiculous stuff. It was felt very powerful. Grow Spiral is just really, really powerful of a card. I think it's just kind of, like, secretly powerful. Like, I don't think many people... I think people just kind of ignore it and try to counter the other stuff, but if you do that, then they just have too much mana compared to what you have. And, you know, they get to play... Like, as we saw, like, that that first game, you know, they, they play Ambusher and have Quench back up, and I'm just dead. Rose Spiral is just too good. Gnaris! Good evening. What's the worst case scenario if I play Teferi? They frilled Mystic it on they go they frilled Mystic on tap Nissa. It's a pretty bad scenario.
Basically, if they just untap Nissa, that's a bad scenario for me. If I don't play Teferi, what's the worst case scenario? They go ambush or untap Nissa? Yeah, I think it just kind of comes down to if they just untap Nissa, I'm dead. Even if I play Teferi and it resolves and they untap Nissa, that's still rough. Well, that's starting to be the worst case scenario of me not playing Teferi. That's the beginning. Yep. <laughs> and then Opt does not hit the counter spell. I guess I could just Opt main phase and see if I hit a counter spell. And if I don't, slam Teferi. And if I do, uh, hold it up. Could have done that as well. All right, so my plan is to have Thrix protect Realm Cloak Giant. I'm really glad no Nissa. This forces them to have a bounce spell instead of a counter spell. It's a lot more likely that they have a counter spell. Keeping this keeping the Thrix back in case they have another haste or another flash creature to play. Yeah, fight yeah, this is uncounterable. It still has CMC five. That's uncounterable, even though it's discounted. Yay, no Nissa. I can also just play Realm Cloak Giant right now, un uncounterable Realm Cloak Giant. I could just play that. But I think if I do that, then they just get to Insight. If I do this, then they have to fight over it. They don't get to Insight. Teferi is not uncounterable. They can counter Teferi. But I have Veto back up. Right on, 
This route does mean if they have a bounce spell for Thrix, now I'm dead, or a Nissa. No, not doing the 12 hour stream today. I'm just not feeling well enough to do that, unfortunately. I wanted to. We're gonna have to do that another. We're gonna have to push that back to another time when I'm feeling better. If I play Chandra or Realm Cloak Giant, then, uh, then I cannot have Veto or Gust available. I think that's okay for a turn. Trying to play it safe here, because we should win a, a little bit longer game. I, I don't want to just attack with the Thrix, and then they, they just drew, you know, like, Brazen Bar or Bounce My Realm Cloak Giant, and then I die. Like, that's not a... It's not a very good thing. Alright, so we have Lethal. So we'll just minus three. Sandra, the immolation sensation. Thrix was just awesome here. Bounce this thing. And there we go. Yeah, Thrix was incredible, both those games. It won me that third game, making um, Realm Cloak Giant, like making the, the, whatever the, whatever the other card's called with Realm Cloak Giant, making that thing uncounterable. I don't know, Cast Off? I don't know, whatever it's called. Cast Off sounds weird. That's probably not it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are we playing against? Temple of Epiphany? Sure, we'll, we'll keep the giant. No, Thrix is not uncounterable himself. Um, you have a ton of gold. What do you suggest using with it? All for draft or open packs? If if you like drafting and... Yeah, basically, if you like drafting, I'd, rep I'd recommend doing drafting. Um, and if you have the time, you know, drafting does take a while. But that's a better use of... It is cast off. Huh. That is... I don't know, that kind of sounded weird whenever I said it. Alright, maybe I should not have kept Tectonic Giant. Hey, Simba. I mean, Historic's not gone. You can still play Historic Leagues and win a lot of gold. Give him my giant. Correct. Historic is not completely gone. Mm. 
Boo. They got a giant to block my giant. That's, that's unfortunate. I normally just want any land. Or I'd, I normally want opt over any land except for that one. That's like the one land that I would rather have. That is the one land that I'd rather have. And, and then it's also unfortunate that, you know, I played the planes already because I, I wanted to be able to have just, you know, like a good amount of mana available in case I found something. Is the Achilles heel of this list other decks that play giants? Probably not. I mean, you can still you can still kill other giants. Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. All right, so this is just glorified, glorified growth spiral. I think I let that resolve. Counter it the next time. Hey, Thraneri, what's up? You open 30 boosters. Got two Elspeth and three Temples of Malice. Those are good opens. They don't really go together, but good opens. You'll do it. Yeah, you want to re reach at least Platinum? You're going to do it. losing all my ops having less and less options oh cool you've been playing this deck since all yesterday and it's dope hey that's good glad to hear because yeah we didn't have time to play it yesterday but yeah, glad glad it's working out well for you. keeping both of these counter spells up because we have lethal so they're gonna have to they're gonna have to do something through three counter spells or sorry through two counter spells they're gonna have to have like three cards well, now they're really dead which one would I rather actually I think I'd rather them see the Kenrith Oh no, I'm going into combat right now. Oh, I can't play counter. Oh, I should have just countered that. Uh, I was just so confident. Bleh. All right, all right. I was like, I was like, what do I not want to show them for next game? <laughs> yeah, which one of these? And I was like, well, no, I'll just play this Kenrith because I'm going to sideboard out this Kenrith anyway. So I'll just play that because I'm going to sideboard it out. 
That's fine. We're still gonna win. There's just no there's no way for my opponent to stabilize here. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm moving the twelve hour stream to a different day. Alright, so I got a punt for that, my three hundred and sixteenth punt. But there's still no way we could lose. I can't just sit back and like try to counter stuff all the time because of like Niv Mizzet. So I think I want all these Ether Gusts because of Niv Mizzet. I'm not sure about Dispute. I mean, I guess I play Dispute. But I don't know if I want to sideboard out Tectonic Giant. Like Tectonic, Tectonic, ugh. Tectonic Giant looked quite good there. We can take out all those things. Maybe I don't need Disdainful Stroke as much. I mean, does Disdainful Stroke counters Wilderness Reclamation, like their best card. Bone Crusher Giant kills Borrower. I assume they play Borrower. Yeah, they should be playing Borrower and Gadwick. And Disdainful Stroke counters Gadwick also. I'll just take out one Tectonic Giant. Oh, you haven't tested this deck yet? Yeah. I'm liking it so far. It's feeling good. Um. Yeah, I know that countering the... the whatever card was lethal. I thought... I just decided not to counter it to sh not show them either counter spell because I thought I was just going to play Kenrith and then give Kenrith haste and, and kill them that way because I was going to be sideboarding out Kenrith. So I wanted to show them I wanted to show them Kenrith, but then and you know realized that we were in combat and that plan didn't work and yeah it was just a mistake. I don't think I need Ether Gust right now. Yeah, these sleeves are from the secret lair, that's what it's called. Hey, JJ. What do you do? Nothing? Alright, whatever. My Ether Gust doesn't do anything either. It does feel like they have Mystical Dispute, 
or how they, you know, thought about interacting with that. I was a lot more scared of Wilderness Reclamation than Clothos. That's annoying. All the borrowers. My best play is to play in other Thrix. That's like my best play if they don't have any interaction. That was the safer play, though, what I just did. One, two, three, four, five. So I'd have Thrix plus a Counterspell. That's good. Like to block, please. <clears throat> no. Alright, we're looking good. Sure. Sorry, doesn't do anything. Clothus still hasn't done anything. Correct. Veto, veto cannot counter Clothus. Correct. Oh, well, whatever. <clears throat> the card doesn't do anything, but I obviously could have done that better. You know, I'd still, even if they have like removal for one, 
the G's. I need to keep that, you know, I didn't want them to top deck explosion, you know, like something like explosion could, you know, be a lot scarier. Thrix has just been awesome. Yeah, the teamer ramp. That was the crazy ramp with next blue mage. And I think we're gonna we're gonna try tuning that, I think, tomorrow. Play that a little bit again tomorrow. We're gonna be playing Ashiok tomorrow. For the first time. I have a Demir Nadir Kraken list to play tomorrow. We're just playing against all the other blue decks. Uh, I would I would assume you could copy Ashiok's Erasure with a Mirror Maid. I don't think it does anything though. If you can instant speed Mirror Maid. Here, why don't you come just sit on my lap? Just keep walking around everywhere. Just sit right here. Ah, elementals. <laughs> Hawkeye just wants to sit up on the table. Crow and War is pretty good. Alright, let's see. So I'm just going to... Either veto that or borrower. That's an annoying card. Obviously, they're going to get Risen Reef. Thrones. I'm more. I think I'm more worried about this Akron War. I think. Yeah, Borrower is not a giant. Should have just vetoed that that thing. I 
don't know. I feel pretty good about this game. You get like Risen Reef back, basically. So I'm attacking for seven. Puts them down to 11. If I do the three damage, they're down to eight. Then I'm not quite killing them next turn if they have you know blocker for tectonic giant. Let's do the three damage. I mean we got plenty of cards over here. Just trying to <clears throat> close this game out. This is Thrix. So you... All right, want another wrong cloak giant. Obviously, the ether gusts. Disdainful stroke looks pretty good, too. Dispute doesn't look bad either. sideboard out. Cause like Dispute, you know, hits Neoform, Risen Reef, Thassa. I don't know how much counter magic they're going to have after sideboard. Gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not sure how, how much they're they're gonna have. I th I think I want to sideboard out to fairy. I think to fairy and some borrowers. I think for the most part, bouncing their stuff doesn't look super attractive. Bone Crusher. Yeah, it's, yeah. So that's that's why I figure they're gonna bring in counter spells. So that's that's kind of the problem of not having to fairies. They get to bring in counter. They're gonna be bringing in counter spells. I think that's kind of the thing to take out. I don't really see anything else I wanted to take out. All right, I like the hand. We need to draw lands, but I like the hand. This is a better on the play hand though. I don't like that draw, obviously. I just want to draw lands right now. This is a better um, on the on the play hand to get the, get under. 
mono white human combo. It's a combo with mono white humans. What's what's the combo supposed to be? We are playing a Heliod deck with Orzhov Hero. We got some Heliods in there. This could not have gone worse. <laughs> All right, got punished for keeping the hand. I, I needed to draw land, obviously. Punished for keeping. So they're just sitting on Risen Reef waiting for me to cast my Bone Crusher Giant. So interesting, they wanted to keep Steam, like they wanted to make sure to keep Steam Vents available. Definitely looks like Mystical Dispute over there. Surprised they kept Neoform in against the Counterspell deck, to be honest. I would, I would have been sideboarding that out myself. That's a card that, if that thing gets countered, is devastating. Because the, sac the sacrifice is part of the cost to cast, so you, you have to just sacrifice and then it gets countered. Yeah, so we know they have Mystical Dispute. I don't know if that there's like a way to play around it too much. Yeah, opponent got stuck on lands also. They drew a lot more cards. I've drawn seven more cards. One crusher should be able to finish this out. Nothing left to worry about. <laughs> they just needed to fire off that dispute. Yeah, I understand you had Mystical Dispute.
right, Just Guy Giants is three and O. Oh. And it looks like we're one one win away from Mythic. It's taking us longer to get there this month with me having like the break um, where I was out of town and uh, when I was looking at houses and stuff like that. But hopefully we win our next one and we get there. Jazz Guy Giants has been pretty sweet. No, I, I'm not planning on getting more cats. Hawkeye doesn't do real well with other animals. Um, I am planning on... Mm, Brazen Bar is completely reasonable. So I'll put it down at the bottom. <clears throat> so, you know, I got like Realm Cloak Giant and everything. Um, what was I saying I am playing? Oh, I have the two dogs. Um, yeah, I got Puppy and Harvey, so I have two dogs still. But I'm not going to be getting more cats. Hey, Anatran. Do you need land? I need a fifth land, obviously. All right, there's a fifth land. Not the best land. Well, I mean, it's a castle, like so that that makes it a good land. I'm kind of expecting my opponent to just attack into Thrix and be surprised. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive. Thrix is so good. <laughs> Stopping time. Yeah, Thrix is pretty good. No! Oh, auto tap. You're killing me. You're killing me, auto tap. Your lucky opt is great, because you're not. Do I even attack with Thrix? Obviously, Kenrith's going to kill Vivian. I'm, maybe I'm supposed to leave Thrix back because of, like, Questing Beast. I mean... There's a small chance that we lose this. And attacking with Thrix is prob probably leads to that small chance that we lose this. I'm guessing. I'm known for my excellent type. This might be a bad idea. That last turn. Now, this turn, I can attack with Thrix. I got the Kenrith back. Thrix is a limited bomb? I mean, Thrix is just a bomb. But yeah, I'm sure a limited bomb as well. I've got time.
Any deck building advice for limited? Yeah, make sure you have a, a good solid curve. Um, you know, don't just have don't just have like uh, you know a deck with like a, a couple of two drops and then like a couple of threes, then a ton of four drops. You need to have a good solid curve. Yeah, we just don't need to block. So the so Kenrith's gonna give all my creatures trample. They have three toughness now total, basically that we just have to do damage to. And so then everything else tramples over. And so we have 16 power trampling over. All right, so the extra realm cloak giant, all of the ether gusts. <laughs> yeah, yay math. All right, dude, Muffle. I'll see you later. Does seem like a good disdainful stroke matchup. Um, yeah, I could have maybe done that the previous turn and killed him. I don't know. But yeah, I, I def yeah, I could have given the giant haste with the vigilance. I I should have done that, but oh well. I don't think I want Teferi. I don't know. Teferi slows them down. Maybe I don't want Borrower. Borrower is like my only instant speed removal. If you think of it that way. Both Borrower and Teferi. Tectonic Giant, I guess, doesn't match up that well against their larger creatures, but it's good to have Giants in play, I think. Hey, Bianca, good afternoon. So I think Borrower and Teferi are like my cards I'm not as sure about. And Tectonic Giant. I'll take out one of all of them. And then I'm going to take out one extra Teferi. Because it costs three and like everything else costs three. Ooh, and Elspeth Conquers de Death in the list. Yeah, Elspeth Conquers de Death is pretty awesome. This deck does have a lot of 5 mana cards though. A lot of 5 mana cards. That card. I have been really impressed with Elspeth Conquer's Death, that's for sure. be able to play creatures and then not have your creatures die to sweepers. Mm -hmm. 
no blocks. I guess I'm just gonna be I should just be attacking. I didn't want I didn't want um, questing beast to hit me, but I guess I should I really should just attack. I should attack the previous turn. Sorry, villager and castle art and veil. Four now, just guy giants stomping back to mythic. Yeah, this deck is wrecking. Hey, what's up, Storm? That's why I got to mythic. Storm just showed up. Mythic hype. Yeah, Ether Gust is awesome. Yeah, it's, is it better than Remand against the green red decks? I mean, um, maybe. I mean, just overall as a card, probably not. But it is just incredible against those green red decks. Um, but even even against, it's probably not. I mean, Remand is. You can do some silly stuff with Remanding. You know, like Remanding your own spells and. Um, all that kind of stuff. So what do we got going on over here? Swamp, Swamp, Fen Lurker. Okay. Mono B, Devotion. Feels weird having people play Fenlurker against me after playing that card so much myself and like nobody else playing it but now people keep on casting these Fenlurkers against me and I'm like stop they're so good ah that's so good stop what are you doing Nothing. Blech. More than that card. Yeah, <laughs> bounce spend liquor. It looks like they're just holding up Murderous Rider. I need one more land before I can Thrix with Veto. Tilt. See, it's tilted. Worst land. Mm 
move and discard. Playing something. This is probably going to be us... I mean, it depends if they hit their land drops. I mean, if they hit their land drops, this is probably us losing. Speaking of land drops, I do not need to hit anymore. So I've already exiled two lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're there at 3. <laughs> it's just kind of... You know, it's... Mana screw, mana flood. You know, the battle, they can't play any of their spells, and I had too many lands. Oh, Knight is awesome. Wow. More land for me. Yeah, night is awesome. That was a that was a perfect time for them to draw that land. Uh, traditionally, mana screw beats mana flood because traditionally, mana if mana flood can't you know if they don't have like the the spells to finish the game out. Why, why would you just auto-tap three blue sources when I need all that blue mana in hand? What are you doing? Auto-tap. Get a grip. Um, so three. They go to nine. They target it again. Go to six. <clears throat> Build your own gray merchant. Like, drain them for a lot. So the tectonic giant does the damage to the opponent with that trigger. So if you, you know, you clear it on, you give it lifelink. When it does three damage to the opponent, you, you gain three life also. So, you know, it's doing like six, so you get to gain six life. Hey, Blazing Rogue. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Our fifth sub of the day. And another one. Another Twitch Prime resub. Fianturo. Thanks, Fianturo. Carnival festivals where I live? I don't... Not... Not really where I live now, but I guess I guess where I'm moving in the Dallas Metroplex, there's carnival festivals. That's not really for me. So we're playing mono black. Mono black. So obviously devout decree. Um, I'm not sure if I want another realm cloak giant. Let's see. They're probably gonna have discard. Maybe yeah, so I'm probably gonna need sweepers. Teferi can go. 
Hmm. I want disdainful stroke. Maybe I just play Teferi. It's like disdainful stroke, veto. Yeah, I'll play a Teferi. Uh, Brazen's not spectacular either. Both Brazen and Teferi aren't spectacular, but I don't have spectacular cards in the sideboard. I wish Devout Decree was an instant. That's another creature. I should put that Clarion down on the bottom. I need lands. I shouldn't have kept that. Hmm. I need lands. I should have put that to the bottom. Well, that's good. Uh, good surveil. Don't want to draw that five drop. <laughs> yeah, this card sleeve is part of the secret layer bundle. Do I have any? Oh, yeah, I have these two things. I was looking at, you know, when I did this, I was like, the creature, 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 creature. I would assume decree. And I would assume wrong. Well, that hits, helps us hit our land drop the next turn. But of course, it's going to be a tap land. Maybe I should have exiled this thing. I kind of forgot about like its escape ability. Probably should have devout decreed this instead of played Clarion. That other turn. I'll be kind of surprised if we win this. I think this is probably just another, like, if this is another Grey Merchant, I'm in a lot of trouble.
Okay, wasn't another Grey Merchant. That's good. Um, I haven't played any escape decks myself. Yes, like decks that are just focused on escape. I like the Phoenix a ton. I think the Phoenix is, is quite good. Light up on the I haven't seen too many people talking about the Phoenix. I think that it's an underrated card. So I wanted the Thrix back to be like a second blocker, but then seeing the Grey Merchant, or sorry, seeing the Citadel, I was like, well, now we need to pressure their life total. Alright, so I attack with everything. I just go block, block. Go to three. That's not a good sign for me. That probably means I'm dead. That block means if they have another great motion, I'm dead. I was not hoping for that block. Oh, do they have the third Grey Merchant in hand? They do, good game. I wonder what I would have gotten for my two spells with Tectonic Giant if I would have done the two spells. Alright, I'll play a couple Disdainful Stroke instead of a couple Borrowers. That was a very good game. Looks like the... Doing the 3 damage forced them to double block like that. Vito does nothing. My opponent plays removal. I play giants. Vito keeps my giants from dying to removal. <clears throat> and you know, Bola Citadel. Counter that thing too. Hey, Blitho. Thanks for the Twitch Rhyme Sub. Uh, 
I don't I don't have any cavaliers in my deck. I don't have any way to dig. Like there I didn't have any there's no cavaliers in this deck. There was uh not another red source. Yeah, I had a Thrix in hand. It doesn't it doesn't dig. I would have much rather, basically what I'm saying, I would have much rather stomped this Knight of the Ebon Legion and then saved Devout Decree for a Midnight Rider. I mean... I'm putting the Bone Crusher Giant down to the bottom though because we need another land and we need another red source also. Like We need land. Yeah, so, yeah, we're not playing any Cavaliers in this deck. This is all Giants. They got me. Well, darn. I guess I'm not dead yet. They didn't. They missed their land drop. Didn't get to. Um, didn't get to Grey Merchant to kill me. But we're still not looking good. Could really use like Clarion. Sweeper. Okay, <clears throat> four and one. Lost a close match there. Just too, too awkward of a game three. That game two, you know, like they had to have the third gray merchant, they did. And that game three, after mulliganing, my hand was just kind of too awkward. The double Fen Lurker tore up that hand. I'm telling y'all, Fen Lurker is a good card. Yeah. You know, you mulligan. Your if you're on the play and you mulligan, you don't. You know, and then you don't get the extra card, and then double fen lurker. That's tough to overcome. And we could not. They had a, they had quite a good hand. But there we go. That's Jeskai Giants. This deck felt really good. I liked I liked this deck quite a bit. It felt really strong. Um, you know, like we were really close to to winning that one that we just lost. This was a good card. Or sorry, this was a good deck. Um. I, uh, hey, Travik, GG's. Um, I think keeping that Tectonic Giant when I did that game three, that was super greedy. I didn't have that second red, and that really hurt, because if I would have got rid of the Tectonic Giant, then I would add Bone Crusher Giant that would have killed the 3-2, and we would have been not taking all that damage. So I, I didn't play that game three very well. That was a really bad decision by me. But yeah, this deck definitely felt real. Um, 
yeah, Tectonic Giant was awesome for us in this. In this, and Realm Cloak Giant was just an all star, destroying all the the non giant creatures. You know, like it wasn't destroying our creatures and destroying all of our, my opponent's creatures all the time. Um, I think kind of playing through those games. Think maybe you know I like how we have the fourth Realm Cloak Giant in the sideboard. Maybe we want a fourth uh, Clarion in the sideboard also. Maybe, but I don't know. I, I liked our sideboard. I think it. I think it played pretty well. Um. Yeah, basically because I kept the Tectonic Giant, I couldn't really keep the Bone Crusher also because I need, I you know, need to get to that fifth land. But if I would have just not kept the Tectonic, then I would have been able to have the Bone Crusher, and yeah, my life would have been a lot better. Um, four color with this? No, I, d I don't think this needs to be four colors. Giants was really good. Yeah, so it was really good. All right. Um, so there's Just Guy Giants. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. If you're playing this deck at home, let me know how it's going for you. And of course, and of course just how Theros is shaping up for you. Uh, but but Tectonic Giant and Thrix were both awesome. Especially, man, Thrix was incredible. Yeah, deck was good. All right, uh, but there you go. So thank you so much for watching some Just Guy Giants. And I'll see you for the next video.